Welcome, race fans, to another edition of American Dirt Track Racing. Tonight, we're back here at the beautiful Sealands Grove Speedway for their actual, it's their 1988 National Open. They did run a, another $10,000 to win race here earlier in the spring, but uh, this is the big one. This is the one that Blaney won last year. Joining us in the tower tonight will be my friend and fellow colleague here, Ken Stahl, and doing the camera work again, Patty Strasser. Well, it's good to be back here, John, at Sealands Grove. This race rained out a couple of weeks back, and tonight, ideal weather for the National Open here at Sealands Grove. As you said, Dave Blaney, the big winner last year over Doug Wolfgang and Steve Siegel. Tonight, Blaney not here, Wolfgang not here, Siegel, the only one of the top three in the pits. Exactly right. Turning fast time tonight was Donnie Kreitz, Jr. Uh, buzzed around here, I think it was an 1850. Uh, did you pick up the time there, Ken? 18.56 was the official fast time. I know it was 18.5 something. Uh, that's getting around quick, although it's not as quick as Joey Gravino's 17.80 that we saw here in the spring. That was extremely quick, but the track uh, has taken a lot of wear over the summer months and probably not as fast as it was back in the spring. Right now we've got the first heat on the speedway, so do you want to take a look at the starting lineup? Well, starting on the pole out of Allentown, Pennsylvania, and the number 98 will be Brian Seidel, a driver that hasn't saw much action this year. And alongside him in the Camelot Country Restaurants uh, will be the number 88 of Bobby Landis, who's having his problems in the pit area tonight. Starting third from Taylor, New York, will be the 14P of Bill Perry. And starting fourth on the outside of row number two in the number 5W, his own car, Randy Wolf. Good to see Randy Wolf back in uh, competition here in the Central Pennsylvania Circuit. Starting in that sixth spot in the number 29, fresh with a victory at the uh, Williams Grove National Open, Kenny Jacobs in that familiar red, white, and blue Weikert machine. And alongside him will be the number seven up of Ed Schaefer. Starting seventh in the field, uh, scheduled to be Moving back to row number five, starting ninth, let's make it, will be the 77 of Brian Nornhold, and starting 10th, the 33 of Larry Solomon. Larry, a former modified driver. Exactly right. Starting in that 11 spot, making up the final row, inside of the final row, will be the number 69S of Butch Schoaf, and right beside him in the number 1S will be Dave Stewart. We're getting the one-lap sign from your starter, Charlie Page, on the flag stand, and I noticed that Bill Perry, who had a lot of problems during warm-ups and again in time trials, is missing from the starting lineup, so everyone from Bill Perry, who was scheduled to start third, has moved up one spot. And we forgot to mention that Barry Camp also in the field. I missed his name in the lineup. He'll be starting fifth on the inside of row number three. Jacobs is alongside of him. Then we had Schaefer, Walter, Nornhold, Solomon, Schoep, and Stewart as they come to the speedway here for heat race number one ten thousand dollars the lion's share tonight we'll Kenny see what Jacobs, 14 grand last night trying for a twenty-five thousand dollar weekend first he's got to qualify trouble already uh looked like the number 63 of phil walter very much out of shape as they head to turn number one now bobby landis quickly right on the rear bumper of our leader brian seidel as they head down the back stretch Randy Wolf pinching off Barry Camp as they race down the backstretch. Ken, there we've got a car upside down. Looks like Bob Landis in the number 88. Very similar to what we saw in the uh, crash at Williams Grove Speedway with uh, the late Darrell Gone. Uh, let's hope no uh, serious injuries up there. He got in alongside uh, the 98 car of Brian Seidel, and I don't know if he just had to lock the car up to keep from hitting Seidel, but it certainly backed into the fence hard up there in turn number three. Let's hope that uh, any injuries are minor in nature here. Well, that's certainly good news on Bob Landis, who has had a tough year. Bob, uh, things started out real well for him, but uh, haven't turned out too well as the season went on. They've gone downhill, I would say, for Bob Landis. Well, last year they got, I think it's important that how you get started in a season. Uh, was last year they only ran one track um, for the most part. They did run Williams Grove some, but this year they've been trying to run Williams Grove Friday night and uh, a combination of Port Royal and Sealands Grove on Saturday night, and then they've even traveled to uh, Susquehanna Speedway on Sunday night. So. I'm thinking now, uh, of course, hindsight's always 20-20, uh, but I'm thinking that uh, possibly spread a little too thin this year. Maybe uh, maybe they just didn't have the finances to race three nights a week. And this certainly 
a crash like this doesn't help anybody's finances out. Well, right now we have the red flag on the speedway, and uh, I guess this would be a good time to take a break and come back with the resumption of heat number one. Well, we're back in here again at the Seals Grove Speedway with the resumption after Bobby Landis's Camelot Country Restaurant's Bob Hobrick trucking. Number 88 has been taken to the pit area on two wreckers. We're back under green as they come off. Turn number four, and Brian Nornhold spins the number seven. Well, we're having a hard time getting this first heat underway. Uh, still no laps in the record book. This time, Brian Nornhold brings out the caution. Not nearly as uh, severe consequences, uh, of course, for Nornhold. We'll be back with take three in this, the first heat for tonight's National Open, sponsored by Blaze Alexander. Pontiac Buick Cadillac in Sunbury, Pennsylvania. Back in here once again at the Seals Grove Speedway for the third attempt here and to get tonight's first heat race underway. First, Bobby Landis uh, tags the third turn fence. Brian Nornhold brings out the yellow. After a spin, we're back under green. We'll watch him off turn four. Nornhold proceeds to jump the field a little bit in number 77. We've got the green on the speedway once again. Brian Seidel, Randy Wolf, and Kenny Jacobs take them down the back stretch. Randy Wolf motors right around the number 29 car. Right now, uh, Randy Wolf's in control off of turn number four. Jacobs going after the runner up spot. He gets it from Brian Seidel. And now Jacobs sets his sights on your leader, Randy Wolf, as we're officially underway with qualifying for the National Open. One lap in the record book. Randy Wolf certainly knows his way around the Seals Grove Speedway. Even though he's been absent for most of a year, uh, right now though, Kenny Jacobs has the faster car and takes the lead. A Buckley built sprint car now for Bob Weikert. And, uh, it's been very successful ever since they switched driver and chassis. And also Davey Brown Jr. now back on the Weikert team. So a lot of changing around here. Keith Coffin in the Al Hamilton car now. We look at the rest of the field come by. Ed Schaefer, Brian Nordholt, Phil Walter, up in turn number four. Uh, Straggler headed for the pit area. That's the number 69 of uh, Butch Show. Off turn four, it's still Kenny Jacobs, your leader. Jacobs dominating this heat event. Randy Wolf runs second, Barry Camp third. Brian Seidel out of the qualifying order. They're only going to take three out of the heat race. Those are the big three right now. Uh, Kenny Jacobs, Randy Wolf, and Barry Camp. Not much racing up front, that's for sure, as Kenny Jacobs has the number 29. At full speed as he heads down the back stretch now. Field really strung out right now, and it's all Kenny Jacobs in the Likert's number 29. This is lap number six, one beyond the halfway point. Looks like an easy win for Jacobs. Randy Wolf now beginning to give way to Barry Camp here a little bit. Camp beginning to close it up on Randy Wolf as they head down the back stretch. There is the battle that really counts on the speedway. Randy Wolf running second and Barry Camp third. They both qualify and it really doesn't matter at all as a matter of fact where they qualify as long as they're in the top three. And right now, Barry Camp putting heavy pressure on Randy Wolf, and he takes over that second spot as they head down the box stretch. We're already going to get the two-lap sign on your leader, Kenny Jacobs, as he goes by. And right now, Randy Wolf out of shape momentarily, straightens it back out, but he's losing ground. We're watching the number 29 of Kenny Jacobs. That car looks like it's on rails, Ken. Really getting around here well tonight. What a difference getting the big team back together, Davey Brown, Jr. and Sr., both working again for Wiker, and the car looks like itself again. Taking the white flag and be looking for the checkered flag next time around on Kenny Jacobs in that Wiker livestock number 29. He's gonna win this one going away as he's right now lapping cars off turn four. Here he comes, your winner of heat one, Kenny Jacobs. Jacobs takes the win, finishing in that second spot will be the 14. Uh, veteran Barry Camp finishing third is the 5W of Randy Wolf. Taking the fourth spot is the number 98 of Brian Seidel. Ed Schaefer will finish fifth. Sixth will go to the 77 of Brian Nornold. And seventh goes to the number 63 of Phil Walter. You know, Ken, I was just thinking, 
I don't know if the, if the uh, Davy Brown team uh, per se uh, really can work without having both the Browns. It seems like when there's only one Brown, it's not enough Brown. You gotta have them both. Uh, I really don't know why that is, but it seems like you gotta have them both. And of course, uh, Jimmy Sills, who drove the car unsuccessfully, I would have to say, throughout the 1988 season. Uh, not a lot of wins and certainly not uh, up to the standards that Bob Weikert expected. Well, that's for sure, and we'll be back with heat race number two. Back in here once again at the Seelands Grove Speedway with heat race number two. We'll get down over the starting lineup quickly. Starting on the poles, the three of Charlie Massey and alongside him is the 86 of Kramer Williamson. Starting in the third spot, we have the number four, the number 80 of Bobby Parrow. He's followed by the three H of Rocky Hodges. Then we got Johnny Magnuson, Joey Allen, Roger Moyer Sr., Jerry Stone, Alan Cole, Bobby Murphy, and Joe Gravino who was scheduled but is also Scratch for the night. Well, it's going to be Kramer Williamson first out of the block in the number 86 of the ICB car. Kramer looked real good in this car at Port Royal on several occasions this season. Right now, he leads lap one. Rocky Hodges now moving up to try and take over that second spot, and he does from Charlie Massey. So Massey in the four drops to third. Right now, a lot of cars charging up through the field. Joey Allen driving the really peculiar looking sprint car out there. The A1 has a Carl Harris hood on it. I'm not sure, sure what else, but Joey Allen qualified real quick here tonight. Eighth fastest qualifier, and right now he's trying to get a qualifying spot. He and Johnny Magison along with Charlie Massey all battling over that third spot. Now Allen goes around the outside. Allen now will move up into actually fourth position. Kramer Williams in your leader, second is Rocky Hodges. Third, Bobby Paro, Joey Allen runs for it. Fifth is the number three car, and right behind him, Johnny Mackison. Roger Moyer Sr. along with Jerry Stone and Bobby Murphy uh, and Alan Cole rounding out the field. The battle is for second as they come to the fly stand. Rocky Hodges and Bobby Paro battle it out for the runner-up spot, and Joey Allen will try and close it up on those two as we have a car spun over on turn four. Yellow flag is out. I uh, believe Alan Cole in car number 17, possibly. Cannot find him uh, on the speedway. Alan Cole in car number 17C. A former uh, go-kart campaigner. Uh, moved right up into the sprint car division as we see a lot of drivers do nowadays. And uh, Alan Cole having a little problem here tonight. But Kramer Williamson looks tough in the ICP crown number 86. We'll be back with the restart. Well, we're back in here at the Seals Grove Speedway and we've got green flag and we're watching Kramer Williamson in the ICP number 86. And four cars go into a battle for that Third qualifying spot, Johnny Mackison gets out of it quickly in the 65. He gets around Joey Allen and Bobby Parrow into a qualifying spot. So Mackison on the move in the Michael Barshinger contractor number 65. Here comes Kramer Williamson now. He looks like he has him covered. Halfway on Kramer Williamson, Rocky Hodgson, Johnny Mackison, and right now Joey Allen runs fourth. Down the back stretch now. We're watching the number three of Rocky Hodges. This car driven by Chuck Ward most of the time. Uh, right now, Rocky Hodge is at the helm and running in that second spot. That car won a lot of races here last year with Chuck Ward as a driver. Car actually owned by Chuck Ward's father and driven by Rocky Hodges. It doesn't look like anybody's gonna reel in the number 86 now of Kramer Williams and uh, the Clark Barger ICP number 86 car. Right now, Kramer looking very strong in the team race. Johnny Mackinson closing up a bit on Rocky Hodges as they head down the back stretch. Joey Allen and Bobby Paro right there. Kramer with a safe lead as he works his way off turn four. There'll be two to go, but things really bunching for second. A good battle for that second spot as they come to the line stand. Rocky Hodges and Johnny Mackinson. Mackinson 
Down on the inside of Hodges. I don't know, Magnuson might be able to take him. And Joey Allen also right there trying to get a final qualifying spot. Allen going high into three and four. Now tries the outside of Magnuson. Joey Allen going around the high groove now, but Magnuson hanging tough. There's Joey, they're side by side down the back stretch. And we could have, a, and we will have, as Allen goes right up after Hodges, a last lap pass for a qualifying spot by Joey Allen. Kramer Williamson takes the checkered flag. He'll pick up the win in that uh, Kurt Waters wrench ICP number 86. Rocky Hodges will take second. Joey Allen, uh, very impressive on the final lap. Motors right around Johnny Mackison to take that final qualifying spot and finish third. And we had Mackison finishing in the fourth spot. I think it was Jerry Stone now uh, on back. Uh, Charlie Massey, Roger Moyer Sr., Alan Cole, and Bobby Murphy. And those guys will all transfer to the uh, C main or B main. Uh, lots of racing on tap here tonight. We'll be back with heat race number three. Back in here at the Seals Grove Speedway for heat race number three. We've got Dave Reichert, Roger Moyer, Todd Schaefer, Kevin Fry, and Jim Nace. And along with uh, also in the field, Jesse Wentz. And we've got Jerry Robinson in there, Steve DeCosta, Don Sesco, Scotty Hawes scratched from this event. Well, a lot of cars uh, not showing up here for heat race number three. Right now, Dave, Dave Riker with the lead. Kevin Bry runs second. Roger Moyer Jr. runs third. We got a battle for the lead off turn number four, and here comes Kevin Fry on the inside. Dave Riker right now is your leader as we complete lap number one. Frenchie Grimes, another driver scheduled for this one that didn't come out. But right now up front, Dave Riker and the Riker Lumber number six is your leader. Riker uh, looks impressive here so far as he holds off Kevin Fry off turn four. Who is the record book on Dave Riker, Kevin Fry, Jim Nace, and running fourth is Roger Moyer. Todd Schaefer right now runs fifth. Todd certainly not on the pace. Uh, something evidently wrong with the Tuscarora machine tonight. But uh, you gotta be impressed with Dave Riker, Ken. Very impressed, Riker right now holding off Kevin Fry, who had, a, I know, at least one second place finish here at Sills Grove. Yeah, Kevin Fry uh, driving that key hand sprinter out of Chambersburg. Fry actually won a feature here at Sills Grove this year. Right now, they're side by side, down the back stretch. Kevin Bry now takes the lead, but Riker still rides strong in that second spot. Jim Nace runs third. Nace closing fast as we got the halfway sign on your new leader, Kevin Bry. Looking off a turn number four now, Todd Shaver goes by along with Jerry Robinson. Uh, I don't see Jesse Wentz anywhere. He must have had problems. A quick dropout for Jesse Wentz, who had the big night last night at Williams Grove. Nace gets around Riker for second. Nace now up to second, and he goes after Kevin Fry. Down here, it turns one and two. Well, it looks like Riker's going to make the show here. They're only taking three, and it's got to be tough on a night like tonight. Barring any problems or caution periods here in the last couple of laps, Riker will qualify. And he's got a big lead on the fourth place, Roger Moyer. Kevin Bry running real strong here tonight again at Seals Grove. This team has really, uh, this team has really started to gel here in the late 1988 season. Having a real super time of things with uh, the GTE sponsorship and two to go on Kevin Bry. There you see him off at turn number two and head down that long back stretch now. They'll be looking for the white flag off turn number four this time. One more lap to go on Kevin Fry. Fry now dealing with lap traffic as he comes off at turn four on the white flag lap. Nace safely in the second spot. Third is going to be Dave Reichert with one to go. Riding a distant fourth place now, Roger Moyer Jr. 
along with Todd Schaefer. Uh, has to be a disappointing ride for Todd. Todd started up in a top three position, but he's not going to make it. Checkered flag out for your winner, Kevin Frost. Jim Nace will nail down second. Finishing third is Dave Reichert on a great job by Reichert. Roger Moyer Jr. not quite making it, but he'll take the fourth spot. Fifth will go to Todd Schaefer. Sixth will go to Jerry Robinson. Seventh will go to Steve DaCosta. And I believe eighth is going to go to Don Susco in the 5X. So Whoa. Kevin Fry picks up the heat win in heat race number three. We've got one more heat before we go to the C and the B main. Back in here for heat race number three. I'm Johnny Strausser along with Ken Stahl joining us here in the tower tonight. Always a pleasure to work with uh, Ken and have him out here at Seals Grove with us. Starting on the pole in car number 14T will be Troy Camp, one of the many second generation drivers here at Seals Grove. And alongside him, uh, one of the rookie sprint car drivers in 1988-75 of Bobby Strasser. A couple of York County drivers start in row number three, the 51 of Carl Baker on the inside, and outside of him from Dover, the 69 of Chuck Reiner. Starting in that fifth spot will be the 7TW. This car uh, driven by Joe Gertie tonight. Uh, and alongside him in the Bush Beer number two will be Steve Siegel. Row four inside starting in the seventh spot. Driving the number 58 from Reddy will be Tom Warner, and starting eighth from right here in Seals Grove, the 18R of Rick Romig. Starting in that ninth spot inside of row number five, the uh, veteran Bud Mills in car number 89, and right beside him, another longtime campaigner here at Seals Grove, the number 104 of B.J. Stewart. And starting scratch on the field in the Frank Smith Garage, number 1S, driving out of Lansdale, Pennsylvania. He had problems in warm-ups and problems in time trials. George Ferguson Jr. George Ferguson Jr. Uh, has won a lot of races in his career. He's gonna have his work cut out for him tonight as we get green flag on heat race number four. Bobby Strasser takes him into turn number one. Troy Camp runs second. Chuck Reiner, Steve Siegel, they're all battling it out as they head down the back stretch. Carl Baker is right there along with Joe Gertie. Couple of rookie drivers leading the parade right now. Troy Camp, Jason. Bobby Strasser off of turn number four. Troy running the inside of the speedway, trying to get around Bobby Strasser for the lead. Camp much improved over what I've seen him earlier in the season. Camp uh, really only raced just this season, so both these drivers, 1988 sprint car rookies. And Troy Camp gets around Bobby Strasser to take over the lead. Camp up front now, Strasser back to second. Steve Siegel runs third, and he's going to zero in, I think, on your top two. Steve Siegel now on the move. He got around Chuck Reinert, and Strasser spins the number 75, and, and he gets hit by the 7TW of Joe Gertie. Boy, oh, talk about bad luck. Right. Strasser has probably crashed the car 90% uh, of the time. He just seems to find the wrecks. Very lost a handle basically on his own, but he did a great job in getting it around. I don't think he had any serious damage until uh, until Joe Gertie arrived on the scene. And now he probably has a lot of damage, and uh, that's a shame for a uh, good candidate for Rookie of the Year honors at Port Royal Speedway, Bobby Strasser in car number 75. Now we still have the Seals Grove candidate for Rookie of the Year, uh, Troy Camp leading the parade over Steve Siegel and Chuck Reiner. We'll be back with the restart. Well, Donnie Kreitz uh, just drew the pill for the uh, six car invert tonight. He set fast time and drew a number six. So he'll go sixth. He couldn't have done any worse, really, can he? Out of being the top fast six. Well, we're back to green flag racing here in heat race number four, the final of the four heat races, and right now, it is still Troy Camp, your leader, running second, Steve Siegel, Chuck Reinert is third, and Joe Gertie, after getting together with uh, Bobby Strasser, apparently no serious damage, he's racing fourth and trying to get after a final qualifying spot. Well, we're losing uh, the number one S of George Ferguson, so their problems 
continue to plague that team. There you see Carl Baker as he uh, watches Joe Gurney drive away from him now in turn three. We may get a good battle for the lead here momentarily. Steve Zingle right with Troy Camp. But so far, it's been Troy Camp able to hold off Steve Zingle to the youngster. Second generation driver trying to pick up a heat win and right now he's doing the job holding off Steve Ziggle. Troy Camp looks real good here in this heat race as he hangs on one more time and we'll see what happens. And right there, that's the true mark of a rookie driver, Ken. Yeah, Ziggle went right by him. Uh, Camp threw it in hard and uh, that was all it took as Ziggle went right by. But uh, nonetheless, Troy Camp doing a great job out there as he rides second. Riding in that third spot is the number 69. That's Chuck Reiner. Reiner, a former winner here at uh, Seelands Grove. Way back in, I believe it was March. Back when the snow was flying that night, I believe. And old Chuck did win a race uh, a couple of weeks ago at Susquehanna, but it's been a long year since that early season win. Chuck Reiner riding third right now in a qualifying spot. There goes the number seven TW of Joe Gertie. All I can say is Gertie really got off lucky here tonight so far. Yeah, Gertie's the kind of driver that never really impresses you a lot, but he seems to get the job done. Somehow, some way, he always ends up at the top of the all-star point. Right now, I'm watching Steve Siegel as he comes off a of turn number two. Siegel really had uh, had things cooking here last year right around this time, and he looks like he's also cooking again tonight. Right now, he's going to get the white flag from Charlie Page, so we're coming to the end of this heat race. And right now, it looks like Steve Siegel easily over Troy Camp. Now, Troy Camp, uh, nonetheless, is going to turn in a nice ride here, finishing uh, in that second spot. Off turn number four, it's Steve Siegel in the Bush Beer, number two. He Siegel takes the, the easy checker. winner. Second will be Troy Camp and qualifying third, Chuck Reinert in the 69. Bill Gertie will have to go to the B main. Along with Carl Baker, uh, the number 58 of Tom Warner, BJ Stewart also, and Bud Mills. They'll all transfer now to the B main or C main. But Siegel, fast again here at Sealands Grove and I'm sure there's a lot of jubilation in the Troy Camp pit area right about now. He makes it in. Uh, so some of the uh, underdogs, you could say, running strong here tonight at Sealands Grove. We'll be back with more racing action here at the Sealands Grove Speedway. Back in here at the Seelands Grove Speedway, I'm Johnny Strausser along with Ken Stahl. We're at the B main juncture in tonight's event. We'll get down over the starting lineup, starting on the pole out of Allentown will be the number 98 of Brian Seidel and alongside him in car number 65 will be Johnny Magasin Jr. Third starting spot will be the number one M Jr. of Roger Moyer Jr. and starting fourth scheduled to go but scratch the 7TW of Joe Gertie. Starting in that fifth spot will be the seven up of Ed Schaefer and starting in that sixth spot will be the number 80 of Bobby Paro. Scheduled to start in the seventh spot, the 11 of Todd Schaefer and eighth the 51 of Carl Baker. Starting ninth will be the 77 of Brian Nornhold and alongside him in that 10th spot will be the 25 of Jerry Stone. The 11 starting spot will go to the number 83 of Jerry Robinson and 12th will be the 58 of Tom Warner. Starting 13th will be the number 63 of Phil Walter and 14th will be the number three of Charlie Massey. 15th starting spot scheduled to go but scratched to 07 of Steve DaCosta and starting 16th the 89 of Bud Mills. Starting in that 17th spot will be the 33 of Larry Solomon, the small block modified driver and alongside him in uh, car number 1M will be Roger Moyer Sr. Moving back to the 17th, or check out the 19th starting spot, we have the 5X of Don Sesco and starting 20th, the 104 of B.J. Stewart. Starting 21st in car number 81 will be Bobby Murphy and starting 22nd, a, a big surprise to me and I'm sure a lot of fans here tonight after seeing uh, what he went through in heat race number one tonight, the number 88 of Bobby Landis. And starting at the back of this field in car number 17, we have Alan Cole and the 1S of George Ferguson, Jr. Well, that's your starting field for this, the B main. Last chance to make it into tonight's 
$10,000 to win uh, Salem's Grove Speedway 1988 National Open. And the BZ Motors pace car is off of the speedway on the back stretch. Charlie Page has things in it at his hands right now as Charlie will look him over. If he likes what he sees, we'll get the green on the B main. The last chance, only six qualify. All right, we'll watch him. Green flag waves and we're off and underway. Off turn number four, we'll watch him. Your leader will be the number 98 of Ryan Seidel. A lot of good cars starting back in the field are going to have to work. And right now, Bob Landis just picked off about seven, maybe eight cars already in car number 88. Going after Charlie Massey right now down in turn number three. The number 63 of Phil Walter with a wing problem off turn four. Your leader continues to be Brian Seidel. Seidel leads Johnny Mackinson, who runs second. Third is Ed Schaefer. Fourth, Roger Moyer. Fifth, Bobby Parrow. And qualifying right now, Carl Baker. A lot of good drivers trying to make it into tonight's A main. Bobby Landis continues to work his way through the field, but he's still got a long way to go. Mackison trying to hold off Ed Schaefer. We got a yellow. Well, one car at least spinning up here on turn four. Could have been a lot worse as I've seen a lot of guys having to alter their groove in order to avoid that spinning car. Well, Bobby Strasser and Bobby Murphy, car number 75 and car number 81. I think got tangled up there and it looked like Strasser was able to keep on going along with Murphy, but there uh, was some extracurricular activity going on up there in turns three and four. Right there you see Johnny Mackison. Uh, he ducks into the pit area off of turn number four, so a tough, tough break for Mackison who was running in that second spot. And Strasser and Phil Walter both go into the pit area. And that actually, I think that's Todd Schaefer who has ducked into the pit area in car number 11. So Schaefer, who had a qualifying spot, has ducked in. So right now, uh, as it stands, we have Allen, or check that, the number 98, uh, Brian Seidel, your leader. Ed Schaefer runs second. Roger Moore.